This is Eileen here from SingaporeWorldLevelMax.com. Um, what you are seeing right now, um, I'm actually using a new tool that I recently bought. It's called the Flip Video to do this recording. I hope you like it um, and uh, hopefully it's clearer and the sound is uh, uh, much better as well. Now in this uh, video, I'm going to share with you something in AMAP under differentiation of lawn function. I'm going to basically share with you two things. First, uh, this on how to differentiate a long function. Second, how can we simplify a long function before we differentiate and that will save you time and make your life easier. I'm going to be using my little whiteboard for today's recording. So I'll see you at the whiteboard in a moment. Hi, welcome to my little whiteboard. So what you see on the board right now is this equation y equals to ln x and um, our job is to differentiate it. So, before I move on, let me just um, make things clear. I call the fella behind lawn a name for the follower. So, just to make things clear so that you know what I'm talking about later on in the video. So, to differentiate lawn, our answer is usually in a form of fraction. We will just fill up the denominator first because it's easy. It's just simply copy down what you see as the follower. Next, to get the numerator, you focus all your attention back on the follower. Ask yourself, what do I get when I differentiate x? And the answer is 1. So, differentiation of ln x is simply 1 over x without you having to memorize it at all. Let us now move to the next question. This is the next one. y equals to ln 3 plus 5x over 7 plus x. Now, looking at this question, it is not very friendly in the sense that, do you notice what happened to your follower right now? It is a fraction. Let me just mark this out for you fraction. And if you remember what we talked about just now, the precision of ln, the answer will involve a fraction. So guess what? You need to differentiate a fraction. That is a little bit yucky, isn't it? We need to actually make use of quotient rule. However, let me just share with you all the secret today. To differentiate this, what you need to do first is not to differentiate. It's just simply to break things down. And how do we go about breaking things down? It is by using one of the long rules that we have learned earlier on. Long 3 plus 5x minus long 7 plus x. So that is what I meant. Do not start differentiation. Instead, simplify first before we go for differentiation. So now, we are ready to differentiate. First term, let's get a fraction now. I'll just uh, fill up the denominator because it's the easiest. Now, focus your attention on the follower. Differentiate it, what do you get? Hope you get a 5. Next, so you have a minus here. Let's get a fraction. Copy down the follower in the denominator. Back to the follower, focus. Ask yourself, what do you get when you differentiate? In this case, we get 1. So, this will be the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video recording that I've done for you. Now, if you have heard any background noises that sounds like thunder, yes, I have done this uh, recording uh, in a rainy day. So, I apologize for any interference that you actually hear. Do leave me a comment or some suggestions on how you find this video. I will be using more of this flip video more to actually show you more examples so that you benefit from it. Thank you. Bye-bye.